Welcome back. Okay, so we're talking about tipping this morning. Um, we already have a, a wild discussion going on on what is appropriate, what's not appropriate, what what should we be doing. Um, but interesting, you found this one restaurant. This is in the states, right? Yeah, a lot of people are talking about this online right now, and this is about a anti-tipping policy. There mm -hmm. is a state, uh, um, a restaurant in the United States, uh, that uh, basically got rid of tipping. How much do you normally tip when you're at a restaurant? Okay, I, I will never give zero. I, I, even if even if it's abysmal, the, the, right. the service. I, I usually go around 20 or more. Oh, 20 or more. Yeah. Okay. Uh, some people do 15 as a base, yep. and then they kind of add from go there. From there. Up or down. Uh, if you give good service, maybe it's 18, 20 sure. percent. Um, uh, this restaurant uh, basically built tipping into the menu, so everything went up. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people thought, well, now everything's going up. People are going to stop going. But but they're saying uh, after a while of experimenting, they uh, are seeing their employees mm -hmm. are happier, and they're seeing that their customers are still coming, and that they're they're actually seeing an increase in revenue because people are believing in this, in this right. concept. Well, you don't feel the pressures, right? So you just, you know what you're paying, you know what you're getting, and you look at other places in the world that don't have the same sort of tipping mm -hmm. as we have here. I, I like this idea. I don't know if it could work in Toronto, though. That's the thing. Yeah, and I was saying earlier with you that um, restaurants, I kind of have a good sense of what to tip. Mm -hmm. It's when I'm at a, uh, a spa, for example, yes. and you get a massage, or when you, your hairdresser, uh, if you're getting a mani-pedi, what what is the tipping point yes. there? Your house cleaner. And if you're going back as a regular, y you kind of want to give them a bit more than, than than the norm. That way, they continue to give you the great service, right? So yeah. I don't know. You should chime in. Are we yeah. going to put this on BT Toronto? Tweet us at BT yeah. Toronto. It's an interesting debate that we've had before. Yeah. But now we're actually seeing uh, p restaurants implement this, and it's and it's and it's proving to be a uh, successful uh, model. Yeah. Do you think it'll work here in the GTA? Mm -hmm. Question. All uh, right. The other story that I'm following as well, uh, Tesla. Yesterday, we were talking about this last week in mm -hmm. the news. Tesla, uh, so their cars, of course, are already quite high tech. They're, they're pricey yes. cars. Um, and they have cameras and sensors built in. And they came out with a new software update that does auto piloting, does auto steering, uh, does uh, la lane correction. Still scares me a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so it doesn't take over your car, mm -hmm. but it provides assistance when you're driving. Sure. Well, it's proving to not be so successful. There are, uh, this is an article that I found on The Guardian, and um, there are videos now online. This is one titled, Tesla Autopilot Tried to Kill Me. Um, <laughs> they have different, uh, people are uploading videos onto YouTube uh, showing that these functions aren't working as well as promised. At the end of the day, you know, you're, you're responsible for your safety, so you can't rely 100% on technology, at least not now. It's yeah. nowhere near being perfected that, that you've got to have eyes on the road all the time for yourself. Yeah, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, but uh, just another interesting uh, story there. And one other thing as well, Airbnb. Uber's gone through this, of course, mm -hmm. with uh, insurance and, and their Uber X drivers. Sure. An Airbnb kind of now under the, the spotlight here, uh, but Airbnb launching a $1 million host protection program here in Canada, mm -hmm. meaning uh, if anything happens to, I, I thought this was the thing, but I guess not. It wasn't, and that there was so much controversy over Airbnb because yeah. what happens if there's damage to your and property? And it's banned in certain cities. Yeah. 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 Have so you used Airbnb I've before? I've used Airbnb many times, uh, you know, when I was in Paris, when I was in um, uh, where was I San Francisco mm -hmm. uh, it's great you get to kind of live like a local it's a good option, yeah. so Airbnb here in Canada launching a one million dollar host protection program meaning if something happens to a guest while they're staying in your in your residence right. or or your, your investment property they there's some protection for both parties there so and that's uh, in place immediately I, I believe so yes okay good stuff all right thank you very much Winston we're gonna take a quick break we're looking at 626 news coming up